good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, and today, this is the video where traditionally I would come on and say, hey, the pre-release period for Temporal Force is completely finished, the set is out, it's been out for a few days now, and we can already see prices starting to come down quite dramatically. That is the video I was planning to make. But of course, rather than just make the video, I, you know, go and do all my research before I make the video, so I don't go and do a stupid. And there are plenty of cards that are crashing in price exactly as we might expect. But that is not what we are seeing across the board for Temporal Forces. This is a whole lot more complicated. But let's start with the easy ones. Let's start with the Special Illustration Rare Supporters. Across the board, no issues. Well, okay, there's two relevant ones. It's Bianca's Devotion and Morty's Conviction. And if we look at the TCG player graphs, we see it quite simply. Bianca went from a $60 card as a pre-sale price, and it's already gone down to like a $37 card. And frankly, I wouldn't be surprised. No, that's a lie. I would be surprised if it didn't keep falling. I'm expecting this one to keep going down for a little while yet. Don't expect Bianca to have finished. I would expect Bianca to keep going down. And similarly, we see exactly the same thing here with Morty. Morty's Conviction, decent enough card, but we're talking a $45 card on pre-sale, and it's really down to about $36, $37, something along those lines. And again, small recovery as a set actually releases, but make no mistake about it, this is a card that is on the way down, and I expect it to keep going on the way down. Special Illustration Rare Supporters doing exactly what they are supposed to. But that is not the case we're seeing from all of them. Oh, and as a quick side note, I showed you the other day, Bianca's Devotion was selling at a $60, $75 card on eBay before release. Whoopsie. And Morty's Conviction was selling, well, to be fair, Morty's Conviction on eBay beforehand was about what it's selling for now. Little bit cheaper now, because obviously you got to look at the fairly expensive postage. But yeah, Bianca especially has come down quite nicely, and Morty is on the way down too. But what about Prime Catcher? Prime Catcher is the one that's really confusing me a bit, because of course, we don't have any precedent. We haven't had a specs for so long. You know, I know we had them back in Gen 5, but any any data from back then is completely incomparable. Different market back then and all of that. Way too old to really take seriously. So there's always a question of, well, okay then, what's going to happen in terms of Prime Catcher? Now, for some reason on TCG Player, they've got the foil and the non-foil listed differently, which is confusing me, but because there's only one version of Prime Catcher that can be pulled from packs. Like, Prime Catcher is a foil card. This isn't like, if you want a bit of a deep cut, this isn't like the Pokemon Primes back in the Gen 4 era in Japan. They had reverse holo primes. It was weird, but awesome. No, 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 no. That's not what we're talking about here. They're all the same. And we are seeing a bit of a drop from $44 on release to, I mean, one sold as cheaply as $27.50. But realistically here, we're talking about a $33 card. Which is honestly a lot. But we don't really know what to do with these. Like, they seem to be somewhere in the region of, like, two per box. Something along those lines. And this is by far the best one. And frankly, basically everybody's going to need it. The good news is, if we look at the last few solds on eBay, 25... 30, 22, 30 seems to be about the price, but you'll notice there are a bunch of times it is actually selling a little bit cheaper. I suppose one way to put it would be 30 is the top end here, but there are plenty of people picking it up a bit more cheaply. And this is a rather, well, it's a very important card, frankly. It is a very important card because it, it's the go-to, it is the de facto of your ace specs that people are going to be playing in decks. Now, the Japanese version is not terribly expensive. Yay! Because I, I need a copy of that, quite frankly. But if we have a look at the English version, you know, around pre-release time when it was, you know, first being made available, 
People were paying $50 for this card. You know, I tell you every time a new set comes out, stop buying singles in the first couple of weeks. You know, while the pre-release is going on, do not buy singles. Well, this has dropped from a $50 card to a $30 card. So just like the special illustration rare supporters I showed you, sure, Prime Catcher might be a ridiculously good and sought after card, but that is crashing in price like we would expect. The fact that you can only ever play one in your deck, of course, a massive help here, because essentially you get one and then you move on. I don't think many people are really collecting the A specs. You only need one in your deck. So this was always a Prime Candidate. Book to fall. But what about the special illustration rare Pokemon? Weird things are going on with these special illustration rare Pokemon. Except for Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves just flat out dropped from a $90 pre sale to a $60 card pretty much in the space of a couple of days. Kind of hilarious. For some reason, people are out on Iron Leaves. It's got a really nice ability. Let's you, when you play it, move it in the active, move a bunch of energy over to it. Seems like a decent card and a decent Charizard counter and all of that. But let's be perfectly clear. We have the data here. Iron Leaves has been crashing. It is the only one... Okay, we're not talking about Iron Boulder because Iron Boulder isn't really relevant. I'm sorry. It is by far the cheapest one among them. But of the rest of the cards, this is the only one that has just crashed in price. All the others, we're going to see they're going a little bit weird. But this one has gone down. Fine, if you want me to talk about Iron Boulder... It only ever started as a $32 card, went down to a 22 and it's up now to a 24 Look, I love Iron Boulder, and it's a really nice one-off in future decks, but let's not go pretending that it's actually a great card. And I want it to be a great card. I revealed the full art on my channel. It was amazing. I love Terrakium, one of my favorite Pokemon, and it is a decent one-off tech in future decks. But, but I also think it's probably fair to say that it is um not exactly a powerhouse card. I'm sorry. But there's four other special illustration rare paradox Pokemon. And to put it plainly, they are not behaving like they should. They are not doing what we expect them to do. And we've seen this for years at this point. Cards come out on pre-release, they're ridiculously expensive, the real release happens, people realise there's loads more out there, there's loads more sellers, and the price crash as demand is, you know, fine, but the supply is just absolutely shot up. That's what happens. Let's take, I mean, you take the big one, the big one is Iron Crown. That is right now the number one card in the set. And it's a very good card. It's got the ability Cobalt Command. It means you do extra damage with your future Pokemon. And it actually started as a fairly sensible $49 card on pre-sale. Which I still contend is too high, incidentally. It shot up to pretty much dead on a $100 card. Which I, I still don't really understand. My advice with all of these, and I'm going to come in and you know, I'm going to check on this in a week or two to see what's happening. My advice to you lovely ladies and gentlemen would be... I would not pick this up yet. Like, I love all these special illustration rare Paradox Pokemon. I would not be picking this up yet. And sure, it's a great card and it's got beautiful artwork. All of the elements are there. But we can say the same thing about a lot of cards. And the only ones that really hold their value are Charizard. And not even all the Charizard. The Charizard from Obsidian Flames absolutely has not held its value. But to be fair, the one from 151 and the one from Paldean Fates actually have. They are kind of, you know, $100-ish or a bit more cards. But they are the only special illustration rare Pokemon that have done that. We don't expect in the modern era, in the Scarlet and Violet era, these special illustration rare cards, these chase cards, we do not expect them to actually go and stay at over $100 because they generally don't. And we've now got four sets of data before this one to actually tell us that. I don't think this is going to stay at a $100 card because we've got plenty of beautiful cards that are super playable. Like, for instance, Gardevoir. Gardevoir from Scarlet and Violet. Great looking card. Special illustration rare. $20 card. And you might be going, well, that's because the artwork's not as good as the one in Powder and Fates. And you might be right. That's about a $40 card. 
It doesn't really make sense right now. And there's a few potential explanations. It could be we got tournaments like EUIC coming up. And there's some regionals not long after it. And people just want to get these cards for the new format. It could be the hype of the new format, which is convincing everyone to go and pick it up nice and quickly. Or it could be more nefarious in that there are some people that are deliberately buying out to try and manipulate the market and push up the price. That is something I have seen suggested. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if we've got enough evidence to say one way or the other, but that is one thing I've seen suggested. One thing I do know is $100 Special Illustration Rares are reserved for Charizard only in this block, in the Scarlet and Violet block. I would not be paying that for anything right now. And we can see a similar thing with the others. Raging bulked my personal chase card for the set. Started off as a $55 card. Jumped up to an $85 card briefly. But then again, if we see the recent solds, this one is already getting solds at 50 and 60. So... Raging Bolt appears to already be on the way down. To be clear, Iron Crown is not. I just showed you Iron Crown. The recent solds of Iron Crown are all around 100. But then again, Iron Crown is a much more playable card. I love Raging Bolt. And it is seeing some play and success over in Japan. It's got a great first attack to discard your hand and draw six cards. Basic Pokemon colorless energy means turn one going second. It works. And yeah, Bellowing Thunder can do huge damage. Discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon and deal 70 for each card discarded in this way. No argument there. But let's be real about this. As it stands at the moment, it's not good enough to really warrant any more. And honestly, $50, $60 is still way too high if you look at the other special illustration rare Pokemon around. Now, we saw this with Walking Wake as well. Started at a $48 card, went down to a $35 card, and now it's up about 60 Once again, this one is not currently coming down. Sticking up at about 60 for now. And again, there's not really a great reason for it. It's a playable enough card. Goes through any effects that might be blocking you. It's quite nice in ancient decks. Has seen play and success in Japan. But it's not exactly some powerhouse card that's wrecking the meta. It's fine. And the same thing with Gouging Fire. Starts off at a $50 card. Drops down to a $40 card. And then it's straight back up to a $50 card. The one most recent sold is at $40, with $10 down from the rest. So maybe there's hope this one is coming down. And it did win a regional in Indonesia I showed you a couple of days ago. So maybe this card is better than people are giving it credit for. But again, you know, I've said $100 is ridiculous for a special illustration rare in the Scarlet and Violet block. Unless it's a Charizard, and even then, not all the time. $50 is ridiculous for the vast majority of cards. If you're going to be a $50 special illustration rare, you'd better be incredibly playable. And I adore the artwork on these Paradox Pokemon special illustration rares. I have made no secret of that. I have been telling you that a million times since they were initially revealed. They are among the very best Pokemon cards ever. But they are way too expensive right now. So that's where we are. The special illustration rare support is coming down nicely. Prime Catcher is the one good A-spec coming down nicely. And most of the cards are. Even two of these Paradox Pokemon are. But four of them, i.e., well, not even the best four, because Iron Leaves would really be in that. But four of them are seeing a big jump we generally wouldn't expect. And maybe this keeps going up. My inkling would be probably, probably still wait. I'm going to wait. I want to pick up some of these singles. But I'm looking at the price. Like, I'm not spending $50 on a Raging Bolt that's jumping up in price when I'm pretty sure it's going to be a $20 card before long. I feel very good about that. But I want to know what you think. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions. I want to know which of these cards you want to pull. I want to know which of these cards you have pulled. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Martin Cornwall, who's been a supporter of ours for a very long time, since we first launched a podcast back in 2012. So shout out to Martin for being a lovely person, and for the support. But by far the most important thing as always...
Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.